magically wandered into it as a plethora of cars are approaching suddenly when there's been no cars. But, sorry. I'm sorry. It's hard to focus. I've been through a, I've been through, I've been through a lot. I thought, like, every time I come on here, I tell you I've been through a lot. In, when I say I've been through a lot, I'm talking about between the videos. So from the last video to this video, I've been through a lot. The, between that video and the one before, I've been through a lot. You feel me? So look. Book of Casey is literally this. All of you are tadpoles swimming with no goal. You're hoping to turn into frogs. But you're just kind of bouncing and bouncing and bouncing and eating. And you know one day you're eventually going to be a frog. What I want to do is pick you out of that. And that's a metaphor of just where your mind is going. Uh, instead, I want you to outline your goal so that it's a singular straight line to what you want. Just to practice. Because what I'm saying and with the big message that I've always had since I was born that I've wanted to... Other than the fact that I just see the world as a basic, like, a pitiful childish game full of these under intelligent children that I love but obviously and have the potential to be so much greater than me but obviously refuse to accept that and live in this medium point where they choose to be children and I am something outside of that very old, very dense, very black and gold, Egyptian something. Mixed with like Irish rage and whatever else is in my DNA. But for some reason, that's just who I am. Is I, I walk around very quiet because I understand something at a more dense and vivid level. And I have a more vivid appreciation of everything. And I just watch you guys be kids. But since I was born, what I also have is this foundation and framework for how to live life to become the best possible version of yourself and achieve legendary greatness embedded in me that I've just always understood that I feel like I should represent correctly again for you. So, in the best possible ability that I can right now. I'm going to try to get it to you, but it's hard. It's hard to be stuck in this whatever I'm stuck in right now. Um, there's a lot of power in a piece of paper and a pen. A lot of people are now understanding that we live in a holographic simulation and that your thoughts, words, and actions all are a part of this and there's no such thing as separation and that we're all just here and that your thoughts can mold into this plant and make the plant contort and change based off of your emotion states and the plant can contribute back like it literally just did to my hand I saw it go wrong so whether that's a plant or whether this is a holographic simulation and that was an alien spirit and I'm in some type of test and that alien spirit was making it do the thing because I can't see it in that dimension. I can just see what this hologram is playing out for this experience that I'm a part of. But for whatever reason, um, it doesn't have to be so chaotic is what I'm telling you. Is that your life seems overwhelming and stressful and you feel like you've... Uh, differentiate between being the most godly being and the most important being in the universe and being completely NPC robot, no originality to you, just copy and paste of what your environment has created. What I'm trying to offer you is structure, boundaries, goals, momentum, focus, a written timeline of what you have to get done to get to where you want. And then you become that master creator that just picks and chooses the experiences you want and falls in love with working towards those experiences. And then in between those, this is how to be a boss, you heard? This is how to be a boss, you heard? So, I'm, I'm 
allowing you to have access to this framework that I've been blessed with that made me a god that made me have the baddest bitches in Vermont that made me have some of the most funny loving pr almost prank experiences some of the things that I've had that everybody has access to but I, I had it on a more extensive and vivid level for me to have this amazing euphoric experience that put me and sculpted me into something indescribable but I would say words like mighty giant legendary loving charismatic king unique original vigorous um whatever verb is for being a commander to people that you love being a group a good leader that's what I've become and I just travel around I just people come into my life I do what I can for them if I don't feel if all of me doesn't feel like they're worthy of the blessing of my presence then they don't get it and I watch them get even if they don't realize that I've left and I've chosen and it's all going this way to where I'm saying it is Sagittarius vibes on the marksman it's all going this way you heard they their fate they're they dissolve because they don't have what I'm about to teach you and I've kind of you're kind of getting a little bit of it based off of just listening to how I think and speak you can tell there's an obvious difference between us whether that obvious difference is just confident determination and a foundation of hard working success and my ability to not give a fuck about anything around me except for what's in here and just practice taking risks and being brave like my name Kehasa here it is. It's literally just a pen and paper. Do you see? So get your paper out. I am. I want to be. That link is the life in front of you. Knowing these two things creates the future. I th and it doesn't have to be individualized. It doesn't have to be characteristic character traits. I want to be smart. I want to be youthful. I want to be vigorous. I want to be more loving and authentic and more truthful in my relationships. I want more solid, strong connections between people and I want to be able to make them more like me. Oh! I'm tapping into uh, other creators on the internet or the AI is feeding me what they have registered. I'm kind of... I don't know. I'm being fed vibes. Because I'm losing my connection to something. Oh, I just lack hope. And this is why we're here. Is once you feel realize how possible and achievable everything in life is, um, just that hard work and practice will eventually blow your top off, and then you'll be filled up with the most heavenly divine connection to the light and to hope and the Lord that you've ever experienced, and it will be the most euphoric experience, way better than crack. Because if you followed and you picked up anything that I've said to you about building your body to have a fa to be the foundation to house your consciousness and experience for this moment where I teach you how to fit, how to see into the future correctly and how to be excited to obtain your goals and actually be working towards something holding yourself accountable through a fucking list of just what you want and what you don't want and how to get and then once you mark it it's almost like, at least for me, all the steps to get there are pretty obvious with common sense. They're pretty identifiable 
the difference between what you want out of life and where you're at. And then the it's just working towards that. That's the journey, right? That's the, the best part of life. Everyone says the journey is the most important thing. It's not the destination, all this. It's just these, it's that simple as two marks on a piece of paper. But then as you work through this hero's journey, that's when you'll learn how to Feel me? And then it's just practice maintaining and not giving a fuck about your situation. I like to do, I'm going to tell you, I like to do a thing called the domino effect. I'm only saying it because everybody else is catching on. Rappers are now making songs called dominoes. So whatever I created or something showed me early for me to be able to put out, it's something that I learned back in early 2022 going around the country by myself in a lot of terrifying experiences with understanding the the play that we're living in called purgatory um, the domino effect so once I told you I am and figuring out who you are and understanding your core belief systems and your values and um, really ha having daily habits that strengthen and maintain that and learning how to not get sucked out by the matrix and learning how to hold it in and hold your power in and be yourself and have these core values and experiences and be able to sort but through yes and no switches no I don't like that no I'm not that no I'm not that yes I am that yes I am that to build and house your structure with the right physical supplements and biological things in this outside world that you put to supercharge and super super soldier your vessel then and this is the kicker literally bah! once you know who you are you know who you're not Casey O'Brien local Burlington rapper over here that everybody respects and that is winning but he's playing a little pretend game doesn't know what it's like to survive out in the woods with a wind to go after him Maybe he had to eat ramen. He never dug through the trash. I outlast all of these fake, woke, snobby, self-sophisticated French-Canadian cats. I bounce back like I'm made of elastic. I still spaz when I hear that whip crack. I guess I'm just another smack addict. But I built my own palace out of pallets in the palisades. Y'all can catch a fade any day. I can't fuck with none of y'all because they all is gay. I put my family back in place when they wasn't seen straight and went insane. They got stuck into the rain, I learned how to fly a motherfucking plane, all they do is just complain, they complacent. I loaded up my bases when they locked me in the basement, for all of these slaves and I got them building spaceships, I pray I never see the day, I gotta use the stainless, but I'll do anything so my family can make it. I didn't do it for the fame or the critical acclaim, I just did it cause I'm everything that everybody ain't, motherfucker, I'm Casey, on my way to greatness. I can smell the hate, but I know that they won't say shit. They can't see me coming, they need LASIK. I don't fuck with none of y'all bum bitches because all of y'all are basic. Bumba clot. You look a little pressed, boy. I think you need a facelift. I go Super Saiyan when they stuck me in the Matrix and fight every single day just to free all of these slaves stuck beneath demonic and robotic crazy lazy radio waves. I was under immense pressure. I can't wait for y'all to see the diamond that it made from intense effort. Um, but look. So, and that was a freestyle. You heard me? So once you know who you are, everything else, these immense problems, these immense personalities that you you're such an empath, right? So you're taking in everything, you're you're understanding it, and it's becoming a part of you, and then you have to work so hard to sort through it again to get back to who you are. No. dominoes right and this you push the first domino you're in there you've broken through you push the dominoes over with your confidence and your focus and your hustling and your determination that you've earned through days and hours and weeks of hard work at your jobs or whatever you do when you wake up before you go to bed your your determination has fueled your ability to 
use your emotional state as a weapon to push against them and then you overtake them with your information and data and then they get disintegrated and changed and morphed into whoever. Right? That's what the game we're playing wants you to believe, right? So you tip that domino. And then you're in, baby. Life is just yes, no switches and pushing dominoes until you can extend your energy out. You're welcome. I coined that myself and then it seemed like the world caught on months and years later. The next thing, if this video gets five likes, five fucking likes, if it gets five likes, five, five likes, I will do a push-up challenge every single day where I get down and record myself doing as many push-ups as possible until I hit failure. So that by the end of this, I will be so much fucking huger because the thing I've figured out and I've noticed is that you need to be basically looking like you're on steroids to make it in any aspect of life with respect. Poopenheimer from po the movie Poopenheimer, where he built the big bomb that stunk up the whole that stunk up Japan and Nagasaki. Um, Poopenheimer was not very buff at all. He looked like a fucking dweeb. He looked like a nerd. Einstein was fat as fuck. When you watch the movie you really, you really want to believe that there's some super genius that live out in the external world. Or the, yeah, what, the, uh, not the external world, the external artifacts of space and time. But then you look at Poop and Heine, and he looks like a little scheming weasel. He's not this great man. He's not the protagonist, he's not the hero. You know why? Because he doesn't have a physique that instills fear in you. He doesn't have broad shoulders that make you believe that he's strong enough to carry you. Who but Heine can't lead you to a new tomorrow. But Genghis Khan might. Say no to Poop and Heine. Say yes to the bench press. Stinkenheimer. Einstein and Poopenheim. Weinstein, because he cried. Um. Yeah, so I said five likes. And it's 12 11 a.m. right now. On 8 7 20 23. 8 and 7 is 15. 6. That's the number of home and family. Love uh, in the, the connection regarding the internal house network of all your family members and their sole missions and purposes and duties in life. But you didn't hear it from me. This is all information I got from somewhere. Why, how am I so fluent in saying this shit, right? Where'd it come from? I don't know. But I know that I'm an 11. Like that Stranger Things character 11. I'm born December 11th. I crawled out of my fucking mom with the determination and vigor of a stampede of a thousand African creatures angry at the world. And my mother tried to kill me. There's my op. My mother tried to kill me with the umbilical cord and I had to be taken via helicopter up to space and was brought no as north as they could take me. Not like Poopenheim me. I was dropped into the hospital. So it was like the first part of my birth, as soon as I was born, a literal ascension in the 3D, and then an ascension in the 2D on a map. On the 11th, which is the master number. People that are born that were in 11, 22, or 33, 11s are the fighters. They're always trying to fight for something. They're always trying to fight to beat the fuck out of the next thing. They're always trying to fight for a better tomorrow or just fight to fight. 22s are the builders, they're always trying to build a structure, they're always trying to build it. They see the things in foundational terms where they're trying to make something big or destroy something. They deal with that. 
33 are the influencers. They're very good at and it's the last level you get to before you reach space. So 33s are the masters of the masters because they know the highest act of human form is to inspire. So they influence. They don't fight. They don't build. They probably can and they've probably overcome that life. But they're here to influence. They're the teachers. So if you want to get a castle knocked down, you get an 11 like me. If you want to build a castle, you get a 22 like that guy that just drove by me that I said was my op. You want somebody to get your message out to the masses from where from your kingdom. You want to get your kingdom's message to the masses. You get a 33. Like my mentor and the first girl I ever fell in love with and the last two girls that I've slept with are all 33s. March 3rd, Pisces. I'm an 11 Ophiuchus, which is also in Sagittarius. So I get two because I'm fucking cool like that, you heard? If I wasn't Ophiuchus, I would be in. And I've already said it so many times. I'm intelligent, and creative, funny, witty, charismatic, independent, trying to go, trying to adventure. It has trouble with routines because it's always taking risks and jumping into different things. So it would make sense that my life is just me waking up in the morning and biking to wherever I want, getting some nice food, good eats, going on an adventure by myself, whatever money I have, sneaking into movies to watch movies, going and meeting girls and going on relationships for a couple weeks, wild ride coming back. Only stopping in every now and then to go on social media and talk to you. I just, I snuck into Poopenheimie last night, and it was, it was great. And then I went out and met a local Burlington rapper, and he was fighting off a crackhead from Brattleboro. And they were just screaming at each other, screaming at each other. And I walked up and I said, you guys should just kiss already. <laughs> and then I turned around and left because he doesn't show me love. He shows me that fake Burlington love where it's like, what's up, bro? Good to see you. Bye. Where's Brattleboro love? It's like, what the fuck are you doing out here at midnight, bro? Go home. Go to the gym. And the guy's like, fuck you. Uh, and then you pull up and you're like, actually, you're doing good, man. How's your mom? I haven't seen her in a while. She just stays in her apartment. Yeah. Um... Yeah, man, what are you doing with your life? You Don't you want to go here? Don't you want to go here? Don't you want to go here? And they, they go very in-depth about the intricate works of an art that happened or a moment that happened in time where they dissect it and pick it apart. And everyone in Brattleboro has a, has a tendency more to go to the gym and want to be bigger like bears. Here they have a tendency to be all high and mighty and proud like seahorses. So that's what I'm up against. I'm a bear in a land of seahorses. How are these nuts? <laughs> Alright. So. Five likes and I'll do the push-up challenge. I don't really... I don't think you'll get anything of it, but I... I've met, uh, I think I've, every single one of my subscribers I've had a conversation with at one point in time, whether that's somebody from France that found me, like I said, I do these videos because I know the algorithm works probably with some form of higher intelligence to get my video to the right person, so that's why I make them, because it's not for the 13 of you that subscribed. Although I'm grateful and I'm proud to have all of us working towards a better tomorrow, even if it's just subconsciously for some of you. Um, and maybe some of you have bad opinions of me, because you don't know me. Um, maybe I don't exist and I'm just a figment in time, recorded in a multiverse dimension very far away from who you are, and it just made it through technology and that we're not even in the same universe the reality that I'm in right now might be a dream world pocket dimension that was specifically created for my consciousness when it left and entered the network and then filled up a vessel in a universe in the infinite multiverses that exist out there in theoretical possibility maybe I just transmitted a very fragment of my consciousness to this Sp holographic space just to record this video at peace 
and then it made it to the artificial intelligence which became so massive in quantum computing that it transcended time and it just made its way to you I want to call you out by name but I'm not going to but I know who this I know who this moment is for you and you can be whoever you want man my advice is that you take it to the fullest and that you do more than you're capable of and you load yourself up and carry so much more immense weight on your back that you literally can't fucking fake it anymore yard sorry Boop. you can't fake it anymore because there's just so much that you're literally condensed into being real because you only see that straightforward determined discipline so get up and fucking do it and do it more and do it harder and do it faster and overwork yourself until you put literally push past your limits like a I want to say I want to say I want to say I want to say a black knight giant big like six foot tall bashing through this mesh firewall of Spartans and then gets through completely cracks the whole system and grabs the Indiana Jones orb turns around and then the orb fills him up Woo! get it turns into the giant badass and then they're all afraid and then you can just kick him the fuck out the way go up and then say hi to the girl say what's up babe what's up babe how you doing that's good what do you think of is this over here this also but is this over here this yeah how do you feel about that this over here I am I have here's half leave go talk to somebody else Oh, you are this, you are this, you are this, that's it. You're the... For real? But you don't... Nah, 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 nah. No. This over here. Over here, this. Over here, this. Over... This over here. You thought, nah, this over here. In fact, I am so much more cool than you, and I'm leaving. Fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> and then, um, I don't know, go talk to Fred Flintstone. What's Fred Flintstone up to? No, oh, you know, I, I, I'm not, I, I, I. That's great, Fred. I'm gonna go eat a snack. I'm gonna go eat a snack! <laughs> I'm gonna go over there and eat a snack. I'm gonna go all the way over there and eat a snack. There's nothing any of you can do to stop me. Try me. I'm gonna go eat that snack. Fred gets mad. Go back to your mommy. Shut up, Fred. Shut up, Fred. Keep providing for your family. Been setting traps for monsters. Um. Oh, but then you turn around and you're like, actually, f I have a lot of fun going on over here. If you'd like to come with me, I'll be there. Let me get your Snapchat. Or maybe not even do the Snapchat. Say, there's a lot of fun going here. Yeah, because it's so. This is information from a previous life before technology. I'm, the Snapchat ruins everything because we, Snapchat is this generation. It's very new. They're, you have to incorporate it in a new way. But the old way is just saying, a lot of fun happening over here tonight. Hope I see you there. Wish you could be there. But regardless of what you got going on, I'm going to be having so much fun anyway. Because I'm Casey Francis O'Brien. I am the fun Irishman. I am the king of, where am I king of, everywhere?
I'm standing right next to the world's tallest filing cabinet in the world. I'm literally standing next- you wanna see it? I don't know if they'll let you. Yeah, you see, right under the moon, look at this perfect timing, right under the moon, that pole right there is the largest filing cabinet in the world. And this is just where I found myself. I didn't want to go look for that cabinet. It was just here. This is where I decided to set up. I looked over and was like, what the fuck is that? A hundred feet from me. And it's the world's tallest filing cabinet and the moon is directly above it. And I'm right here. I also like this because CH is the initials of the girl that I always thought was my soulmate. So I kind of walked over here and saw the CH. But my battery is running low. It's my battery started running low at 3311. Um my homework for you before this ends is to really take time to sit with yourself, knowing who you are and who you've always been and write down those character traits and write down your memories and write down things keep memories on you, these important mementos in the physical world, um, like horcruxes from Harry Potter that have your identity housed in it so that when you fray and fall apart to these disintegrating waves, you can put yourself back together. And then once you have that sense of identity, outline your goals and write your goals down and write an actual list that you can hold yourself accountable with, with a calendar and some shit of everything that has to get done to get you to your goals. And then once you get that and you get there and you're godly, Send me some fucking money on my cash app. Thank you. Oh, I made a gang sign while I was... They, I made a gang sign the other day. I can't, you can't really see it. But it's a heart. It's a green heart with wings. And I've had that for a very long time, way before any of this happened, so I thought this would be dope to flash. And I also said that this is in, if it's a mudra like this, it symbolizes invincibility from anything that isn't what you love. So if you want to go into a place and be yourself, this is what Andrew Tate does to keep his...